A half-billion-dollar industrial mill operates at the center of America's timber belt, built to redefine modern wood processing. It operates non-stop, receiving thousands of logs every day. This single facility can turn raw forests into hundreds of millions in economic output with near-perfect efficiency. Known as a super mill, it's a fully engineered system designed not just to cut timber, but to maximize value from every centimeter of wood. Robotic arms, laser scanners, and AI-driven blades work in precise coordination, converting raw logs into high-value products at staggering speed. In seconds, natural material becomes industrial fuel for construction, manufacturing, and global trade. This is not just a mill. It's a high-tech ecosystem, tracking every grain and every cut to eliminate waste and boost profit. Billions flow through the U.S. timber industry, yet only a few ever see the place where that value truly begins. So the question remains, what does it really mean to transform a forest into a high-tech gold mine? This is how America's $500 million timber giant reshapes wood, industry, and the economy from start to finish. Every piece of lumber in a supermill begins as part of a forest shaped by centuries of growth and human stewardship. From the pine-rich Pacific Northwest to the dense southern timber belt, millions of acres supply the backbone of America's wood economy. And here's the question no one asks. How does a simple tree become part of a billion-dollar machine? But here's the real shock. A single forest can generate billions in value. If a high-tech mill knows how to unlock every centimeter, modern forestry is not wild or random, it's engineered. Seedlings planted in rows, trees grown for strength and straightness, and harvest cycles managed over decades. Timber remains one of the nation's strongest renewable industries, feeding global markets with framing lumber, plywood, packaging, engineered wood, and more. One tree becomes dozens of products. Entire forests become thriving economies. And inside a $500 million super mill, every log's straightness, density, and moisture level determines how much profit the system can extract. Proving that raw material is not just the start of the process, but the foundation of the entire operation. The journey of every processed board begins long before the machines roar to life. After harvest, truckloads of timber arrive at the mill's intake yard a massive open space designed to receive thousands of logs per day. Each load is scanned, logged, and tagged for origin, size, and grade, creating a full digital record before a single cut is made. Logs enter the mill through an intake system where heavy-duty scanners measure diameter, length, moisture, and defects to determine optimal processing. They then pass through high-pressure debarkers that strip away bark within seconds, protecting equipment and ensuring cleaner cuts. After cleaning, automated conveyors sort the logs by size, shape, and quality. Small, medium, large, straight, curved, or not heavy. So each one is directed to the correct production line. Finally, the logs are staged in organized piles for pre-processing, with some high-moisture timber undergoing brief pre-drying to stabilize supply and reduce waste before entering the main processing phase. Inside the core of the supermill, Raw timber enters its most intense and defining stage, the moment when a harvested tree is reshaped into a precision-engineered industrial product. This transformation begins as logs roll onto the primary cutting line, where advanced scanners take a second, deeper reading of every inch of wood. These systems map the log's internal structure identifying knots, cracks, density shifts, and hidden moisture pockets and feed that information to optimization software that calculates the perfect cutting pattern within seconds. Even the orientation of the log is adjusted automatically to ensure maximum yield. Then, the power begins. Laser-guided blades and high-speed saw lines slice through the timber with staggering accuracy, producing boards, billets, and ultra-thin veneer sheets measured to the millimeter. Every cut is intentional, every movement synchronized, a blend of brute mechanical force and smart automation. What emerges next enters the shaping line, where planers smooth rough surfaces, edge trimmers create clean uniform edges, and calibrating machines refine thickness and alignment. This stage transforms rough, irregular pieces into consistent, usable components. But shaping is only half the story. 
To enhance durability and performance, many wood pieces undergo chemical or thermal treatment. Massive kilns remove trapped moisture, preventing warping and increasing structural stability. Some batches are steamed to improve flexibility, while others receive resin infusion to boost strength and water resistance. In the most advanced segments of the mill, veneer sheets are layered and bonded under immense pressure to create engineered materials such as LVL, laminated veneer lumber, and CLT, cross-laminated timber. These products combine the natural strength of wood with engineered consistency, producing materials strong enough for modern high-rise construction. By the end of this phase, the raw, uneven form of the original tree has been fully redefined. What leaves the primary transformation line are uniform, stable, high-precision components ready for finishing, assembly, or export. It is here, in the perfect balance of power, technology, and exacting precision, that the forest begins its evolution into the structures and products that fuel modern life. After surviving the raw power of primary transformation, the newly cut timber enters a quieter but equally crucial stage, refinement and forming. This is where precision takes over completely, where each piece is perfected, corrected, and shaped into the exact form required by global markets. The process begins with fine planing and surface calibration. Boards pass through smooth cutting blades that shave off microscopic layers of wood ensuring identical thickness and a flawless surface finish laser measurement systems track every board in real time flagging even the slightest deviation so adjustments can be made instantly at this point pieces that once varied wildly in shape now meet strict industrial standards next comes edge profiling and shaping depending on the final product machines carve tongue and groove joints bevels or rounded edges this step transforms simple boards into components ready for flooring, paneling, furniture making, and construction systems. Automated sanders then refine surfaces, removing rough fibers and preparing the wood for coatings or adhesives. Some batches move into precision trimming and defect removal. Cross-cut saws, guided by scanning software, identify imperfections such as knots or cracks and cut around them with exacting care. This ensures that only the strongest, highest quality sections continue forward. Waste from this step is collected for later use, often becoming mulch, biomass fuel, or raw material for composite boards. Once the pieces are perfected, the forming stage begins. For engineered products, individual boards or veneer sheets are arranged in specific orientations, then pressed together using industrial adhesives, controlled pressure and temperature, shape the material into panels, beams, or specialty components with remarkable uniformity. This is how products like laminated beams, structural panels, and composite boards achieve their strength and stability. Finally, the refined pieces pass through quality coating and sealing lines, where protective layers of resin, oil, or clear finish are applied. These coatings enhance durability, prevent moisture damage, and give the wood its final polished appearance. Each piece is inspected, labeled, and carefully stacked. A fully prepared product ready for global distribution. By the end of refinement and forming, every component has undergone a journey from raw, unpredictable timber to a stable, high-performance wood product. It's a meticulous controlled phase that ensures each piece leaving the mill isn't just functional. It's precise, consistent, and built to last. As our journey through the $500 million super mill comes to a close, it's worth pausing to reflect on the story we've witnessed. From the quiet majesty of the forest to the thunderous precision of machinery, each tree's life has been transformed, not destroyed, but reborn. What began as raw, unpredictable timber has been refined, engineered, and elevated into products that shape our homes, our workplaces, and our communities. This transformation reminds us of the balance between nature and human ingenuity. Every log represents centuries of growth and patience. Every machine's cut represents centuries of knowledge, innovation, and careful planning. Together, they create something greater than the sum of their parts, a material that is both functional and inspirational, practical and beautiful. And this is more than just wood. It's a story about purpose, about taking what is ordinary and turning it into something extraordinary.
It's a call to action, not just for industry, but for all of us. To see value in the world around us, to act with intention and to transform our own resources, skills, and ideas into contributions that last. As the machines fall silent and the finished products leave the mill, we are reminded that every ending is also a beginning. The forest continues to grow, the timber continues to serve. And we, as observers and participants in this cycle, are invited to appreciate, innovate, and create, turning potential into reality, one thoughtful action at a time. What once stood quietly in the forest as raw, untamed timber has been transformed into something remarkable, refined, engineered, and given new purpose. This is the journey of the $500 million supermill, turning trees into high-tech products that shape our modern world, from start to finish.